this is too big for it to fit, but I need to get a small one. Okay. And you, prior to filling them up with water, you want to give them a quick visual, make sure and there's no cracking on the neck, threads, inside looks good, it's not anything that looks like a red flag. Okay. And then you'll look inside, it looks like you see those flags and tens, right? right? Oh, they look like a needle. Yeah. That's how they should look. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> then you fill them up with water. And then the next step, I. Hand tight. Out through this line. 
Okay. Now I'm going to shut it off since it's leaving it on. Boom. Boom. I'm going to close this side because I don't need, I'm doing high pressure. I don't need the low pressure gauge. Okay. Shut this one off. Leave this on. If you, so this is high pressure and this is low pressure? But this one always works, stays on. Okay. See how I bumped up? Yeah. It has about 100 pounds, almost 100 pounds of pressure already. Leave the water on, go into the extinguisher, because if you close it and pump, then your air has nowhere to go. Right. Uh, so, or your pressure, I'm sorry. So leave it on, you'll see it kick on, you're gonna go to 3000, because this is a 3AL 1800. Okay. This is a steady pace. Boom. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna go too fast. But that's a good steady pump. And you'll see the level going yeah. on the cubic centimeters. So you'll see it. We're going to get to 3,000 and then we're going to shut it off. Yeah. 